Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to do a little vlogging. Alright. What we're going to do, uh, hope everybody's New Year's starting off great. Uh, just thought I'd do a little vlog. Kind of chat with you guys a little bit, you know, hang out, whatever. Right now, we've got a you know, living here in Florida, uh, you know, even though we're in Florida, you, you still don't have to cut the grass that much. But as you can see, we've got uh, around me here. Um, it doesn't really need cut per se, um, but we kind of like to mulch it up to keep because it's all sand down here guys unless you have sod put down um, it's all sand so see I turned the camera on so unless you have sod down you know you want your grass to so I, I just mulch I've got mulching blades on this thing and um, you want to keep that keep see we don't have sod down so you want to keep the uh, you know nutrients and everything in the ground as much as much as you can um, here comes another car see every time I turn the camera on so so anyway and you know we've had a couple little wind storms and there's stuff laying around here so um, the first thing we're going to do I don't know how much gas this tractor's got but I drove it up up here well, we usually keep this thing in the garage but um it's not in the garage because i've got my little trike in there so let's go ahead i got you on the stand hang on here i'll take you off the stand let's fire this thing up okay and see if it'll run make sure the battery's charged <clears throat> Oh, yeah, now there's something else that, uh, this tractor's only got 1,395 1, miles on it. Right Sometimes what you gotta do, see this is the starter solenoid, it's going bad. I got this old thing to put on it. But, sometimes if you bump it, like that it it will crank for you let's see yeah there we go there we go so if you guys got to do that you need a solenoid <laughs> all right let's start this thing He always says, well, that's because it's a John Deere. So I don't care what the tractor is. It's got to break the Stratton engine on it. So. And if you guys have followed me for a while, you know I love Briggs and Stratton. So tomorrow we got, I was informed she would like to do some yard work. So now we take turns mowing because we both like it. So I'm just gonna bring us up here by the house a little closer. But um, usually after this thing warms up, it smokes a little bit. I've been wanting to put some rings in it. seem to be smoking at all now except for the the black smoke when we first started it that's because it's been scenting and um oh shoot 
Boom. That's because it's been scenting. And of course, you got to start it with the choke on or it won't start. So it was dumping some fuel in it. This is our Ginu. See this guy? You guys have probably seen this before. It's full of water and crap. I got to get it. I got to get the water pumped out of it. I do have a pump in it um, because it doesn't have a drain plug. So. And yes, it is a, I'm not pronouncing that wrong, guys. It's a Ginu, not a Kanu. It's a Ginu. G H E Nu. <laughs> All right, but uh, I've done some work on it there, some uh, fiberglass work there. This thing is like, I don't know, 60s, early 70s. I, I don't even know what year it is. I gave 100 bucks for it like three years ago. So. And of course another car. So, and I gave $180 for the trailer. It just needs cleaned up. It does need tires. Tires are dry cracked a little. But it does need a set of tires for it. Uh, bearings are good and everything. And I, I got to rewire it because the lights were all screwed up. So when we went and bought the trailer, we bought it about 20 miles from here. We bought it in uh, Crystal River. And so, and we met the guy at like a, was it Tractor Supply? No. One of those kind of places. Um, shoot. What is the name of that place? Uh, I forget now. Ranch King or, no, not Ranch King. That's a tractor. One of those places like that. And uh, we met in the parking lot and I bought it well you know I didn't want to drag it that far with no lights so I went and bought some magnet mounts and I just never did put regular the regular lights go on right here see that's where one of the old ones was so I just bought a set of magnet mounts and as I can see here there is some water inside these lights so they're probably not gonna work anymore I did have them underwater one time I forgot to because I used to just set them up here on the fender like that and they was high enough out of the water one time I didn't do that and they went in the water uh, they are not waterproof so they probably don't work but as you can see I still got I've got the wiring and stuff that I can run regular tail lights on it I can get it work pretty cheap so I'll go ahead and run the LEDs on it again so that's kind of that this thing here does still run good um, I noticed though the um, last time I had it running it was dripping a little gas out of the carburetor again I just put a new carburetor on there if you guys remember and uh, I got to looking in it and it does have a metal tank and don't have a plastic tank it's got a metal gas tank in it so it's got some rust in it so I'm gonna have to clean the carb again I'm gonna have to take the tank clear out of it and clean it uh, I need a battery for it. Battery's right down in there, which is cheap. And I've got this apart because I have got a new throttle cable and throttle uh, twist throttle for it. Which so I'll be doing some upcoming videos on that. And then we've got this thing. Last time I went to start it, battery was dead. Brand new freaking battery. Well, it ain't brand new now, but when I went to start it last time, battery's only a couple months old. It was dead nothing was left on but this thing still runs but I don't know how to pin it is because remember it was making a lot of top end noise in the head so uh, I am not going to put new heads on it I am going to put a whole new engine in it. I can get a whole new engine for this thing for a thousand bucks. And battery is deader than heck. So I'll have to get the truck over here, jump jump it off. Okay. And I'm gonna put a new engine in it. I can get an engine for a thousand bucks for what we got in the thing. Uh let's see, I can I'm I'm gonna order the top too. I've got a I can get the top for a hundred bucks. I can get the struts, both of them. They're called quick struts. They've got the springs already on them. I can get those for a hundred bucks. Uh, and 
it needs a multi-function switch which the multi-function switch if you guys have never heard of it I will show you what that is that is this switch right here it's got for the headlights and turn signals um, and windshield, is it windshield washers windshield wipers so it does all that crap all right so it's bad it does act a little strange at times uh, so there's an update on that um, so when all said and done it'll be like a brand new one I will have about 3300 in it and that's about what they're going for uh, with that with the miles that's on it and that kind of shit so not bad this thing here uh, 15 foot aero glass it's got the tilt trailer I'm gonna sell it I may do a video here before long starting it up again the engine runs fine it needs an impeller it doesn't pump the water like it should through the engine um, it does pump but not like I would like to see it the uh, this thing on top I do have that engine it's a Nissan with the 8 horsepower Nissan engine I do have that boat motor in the garage it does run it's a little two cylinder um, it does have uh, forward gear doesn't feel right to me on it we also have this engine and I do have this cover for it I think um, if I remember right it's a 1986 it does run it's a pool start it's not electric start though you can put electric start on it it is set up for that uh, it does run I'm gonna be selling it it was a freebie a guy gave it to me I had it I set it out here in the backyard for eight or nine months and it was sunk down in the sand and I was just going to junk it because I didn't know anything about it I thought well you know it'd be worth it for parts and whatnot so one day I dug it out of the back over there where it was laying over in them weeds about where that table is right there and um, and I thought, you know, it turned. When I turned the prop, when I was dragging it out of there, the prop turned and the engine turned. I said, well, it's not locked up. Let's give it a shot. So I stuck it on them old saw horses and uh, put a little fuel in the carburetor, cranked it a couple times, like three times, because well, I cranked it once, it had sparks. So I said, this thing's going to run. And sure enough, I cranked it about three times and it fired right up. So this thing is a good running engine, and the transmission seems to be uh, seems to work work fine on it. So I will be selling this thing too as well. So that's that. All right. So there. All right got got the push mower out the Troy built it's got a Briggs and Stratton engine on it six and three quarter horse it is out of gas but it has a plastic tank so I'm not worried about that I'm gonna put some gas in it and we'll start it up there's our trawling motor for uh, the Ginu and I will be doing an old start on this engine here too as well but I ran it out of gas there's our Christmas tree and I may or may not it's a little windy may or may not burn it tonight so we'll just see because I gotta burn all this stuff or maybe tomorrow it's a little windy right now I don't like to burn when it's windy but the neighbor I don't know if you can see that neighbor is burning so this 
is the trike. I did a video on it. I haven't done a lot of work on it. Um, but I did mention in the video that it was locked up. It turns out it was not locked up as you can see. It does, believe it or not, have spark. The carburetor, I'm sure, is shot. I can get these carburetors for like 15 bucks online. It may be worth putting 15 bucks into. Uh, this is what was locked up. Generator is locked up on it. Okay, now it's got a generator, starter generator, and an alternator. Now this was, these generators here, you, if you energized them, if you put juice into them, they would crank over. And then once you quit putting juice to it, well, then it would put juice out. So it's an old Delco Remy. Um, I mean, it may be worth, you know, maybe we'll, we'll do a video of rebuilding that, and then I'll put it online for sale. I have no use for it, but... And then it has a Delco Remy GM alternator on it because they were charging the battery. This is where the battery used to set because they've got the headlights on it. <coughs> so they wanted a charging system because these things really don't put out much charge, these little engines here. In fact, I don't think this one puts out any charge at all. So that's probably why they did that. It does have what you call a jack shaft on it. Uh, there's the clutch down there's the jack shaft it is a it does have a differential in it that means one wheel will spin under power or the other wheel will spin under power now that is because it's got dual brakes on it it's got a brake over here yeah there it is and it has a brake over here so up here on the handlebars yeah I kicked the camera on now it's gonna be a parade there's a uh, there's a brake lever, one for each side. Now what that does is if you're running out through the yard, because these things didn't turn, you can see, because of the rake on this thing, that's called a rake, for those of you that don't know. You know, they, they didn't turn real well. So what you would do if you wanted to turn left real sharp, you grab that left brake, crank that throttle open, and what it'll do is slow this wheel down or stop it how, however hard you're hitting the brake. And this wheel will still spin and it'll just spin it around on a dime. He said do donuts on these things all day long. I do have one of these. This is the original. It is a Tecumseh engine. There's the original one. And someone has, I don't know if they've fabricated this to work. I think they have. Because of the cup. And that cup goes down in here when you pull pull the string on this uh, there's little fingers inside here that flip out and they catch inside of there and that's how you spin these over so probably uh, I haven't looked at it but they're all pretty much the same I may fabricate this to work but they're cheap if I need to go buy one no big deal because I don't want to put a lot of money into it but it was free so I'll you know I'll put a little money into it and uh, rip all these wires out you know I figure they had this on here for some kind of a jump start or charging system for their battery. I'm not sure. But that's all going to come off. It's not going to be on there. I may put, I do have a little battery charger. That didn't cost me nothing. I may, if I put a battery in for the headlights to work, um, it'd just be like a little motorcycle battery and I can put a little charger in there and all it'll do is run the lights. It will not have electric start. If somebody wants to put electric start on it, they can. It's not necessary. I don't think it had one on it when it was original. I think all this is added. And it's a lot of extra weight it does not need for that little tiny ass engine. I believe it to be a three and a half horsepower. Okay, so there's that. Uh, now, it is kind of rusty. It's just a bucket, but it'd be fun. It was worth the money. My nephew gave it to me. Uh... I can get it running, sell it to somebody that can take it out and let their kids, excuse me, uh, rip it up, you know, around their yard or whatnot. There's my blower down there. Um, it does run, it runs fine, but as you can see, that broke on it. So I got to put a new recoil rope, starter rope, whatever you prefer, 
in it and it will be fine and I will probably sell it because she bought her new one she likes that electric one she bought because it is there's a male because the electric one is also a vac um, it also like uh, shoot mulcher and a blower on one so I'll probably sell that. <coughs> excuse me I'll probably sell that there's the air conditioner that I had got given to me uh, here a while back my, my the owner of my company my boss gave it to me this is the 8 horsepower Nissan engine I was telling you about it does run but I think it does have you know a lower unit issue it is water cooled it will pump water but like I said first gear or forward gear you put it in gear and it uh, it's kind of jumpy you know it doesn't like you should be able to put it in gear and turn the prop which I do have the prop and turn the prop and that motor should turn it doesn't always want to do that you can feel it slipping so I figure it's got a cog a tooth broke off in one of the gears this TV remember I did a video on it on the light that goes in there that light right there I do have a light ordered for this we are going to give it back to the lady because I felt bad she gave it to us and that's the only thing that's wrong with it she gave us the money to get this so we're going to get this I showed you how to take this apart in that video you do not have to do that now back in the day you did now you get the whole unit for 18 bucks for that particular television set so let's take a little walk out here just kind of give you an update on what's going on like I said I've been sick <coughs> I've been out of work for two weeks they're missing me I'm missing them uh, it's not I can't lay around the house but when you're out of breath you can't do anything so I imagine these are bills nope that's from work for her yeah Central Florida Health didn't take long for them to get that bill in for me from the hospital the other day so all right so we only got one bill good news ah so that's what's going on here and you guys have seen this in the videos my monitor system which is the camera is right there because I got guys honestly in order to put the cameras out well one camera failed that was cheap we gave less than a hundred dollars for that whole unit the DVR system except for minus the monitor it's a television set uh, we got the DVR system the coax and four cameras for like 89 bucks but this is what we how I've got it right now yes that is an old tripod that we gave thirty dollars for at Walmart and the night we brought it home um, it was sitting in the bedroom and a piece fell off of it so I was like oh shoot now this leg got bent because Bruno got tangled up and knocked it over but so I was like well we'll just whatever I'll use it outside on some so that's that so I want to take this mail in and I'm sorry guys oh in my air compressor I have it covered up right now but uh, it's still running strong I forget what year that guy told me that was 50s 60s I can't remember I'll look again I think it's on there this one would also take a minute and uh, give a shout out to you guys. Um, I've only got 2,025 subscribers. I've been on YouTube since 2009, 2010-ish. Uh, so I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I have uh, 680 some thousand views. And only 300 and some videos, so that's not bad. I am monetized. I do make a little money. I make a hundred bucks about every two months um, because you guys watch my videos. So I want to say I really, really appreciate that. Every, everybody, I love all your comments. Um, just everybody that's been there with us, with me through my adventures my turmoils my trials and tribulations thank you for being there uh, just too many to 
mention personally I wish I could it's just so many of you guys so I wanted to take a minute and tell you guys thanks for supporting my channel um, I think I will be opening up a patreon account because we've been talking about selling some shirts you know with some sayings on them and of course there comes a car fired up the camera again uh, like you know some things I say like Shea Bear I'm gone or Shea Bear the myth the man the legend uh, some t-shirts like that see what you guys think and selling some t-shirts to you guys and uh, maybe maybe give a t-shirt away a month or something like that um, we are going to be doing some giveaways here soon for some of the products we buy that we will not use that someone else may want to use or just use it in a video and re-gift it I don't know uh, so we're going to do some of those um, but yeah I think I will go ahead and uh, sell some sell some t-shirts you know I'm not I'm not trying to get you guys to give me money or anything like that um, but I would like my word out there a little more but uh because in five years I would like to do this and she would too we've been discussing it for a year now I've got like a five-year plan starting this year five years I would like to be able to YouTube full-time now it's not as glamorous as everyone thinks but if that's possible she can cut down on her job and we could do more adventures for you guys plus you know it's a bonus for us we would get to do more things and go more places because we do you guys know we do I'm trying to find the right sunlight here we do go on adventures everybody's thinking you know uh, you guys got money no we do not have money you see the truck we drive around in you see our car you see our boats um, no we don't our bills are paid <laughs> how we go on these trips this is how a month even up to two months ahead of time I get some perks for like different hotels and like if we may stay in three hotels but it still be under the same management just different names uh, like Diamond Resorts they have several several different hotels you can stay in and resorts I get them usually around $68 a night for a room for a resort that you can have up to six people in we've never done that you see we're always just her and I but for the money because I tell you what I'm not gonna mention a name but I have we stayed was last year when we went to st. Augustine I got us a, a motel it was right across the road from the water right okay this is how they explain you know yeah it's a waterfront you know and gave $179 for one night St. Augustine within walking distance which it was it was about a mile to the main area where everybody goes and hangs out and all the shops and stuff are it was we get there places run down I didn't see a cockroach but I am surprised I did not uh, the place was it was clean but it's just for $175 a night it was just a regular motel room that's it and as far as the water sure we was right across the street from the bay area right there well guess what guys that was all privately owned across there we couldn't go over to the water if we wanted to it was private it was $179 but it was just one night we was actually only in there a few hours but still for that kind of money I'm like no I'm gonna start shopping around and get the nicest ones we can if I'm gonna spend that kind of money well it turns out shoot you can buy them you know like I said you can buy cheap hotels for 40 50 bucks just a regular room if you're just going to spend one night which we do that as well I've spent as low as $58 for one night for a room that actually had a kitchen that two beds uh, bath you know just a regular hotel room but it was clean and it was nice and it was in a good area so shop around gas we drive the old truck 
Now that truck was getting around 30 mile per gallon, believe it or not. It's an 03. I think it's an 04. She's calling it an 03, but it does say 03 on the sticker, but it's like August, which would make it an 04. But we're not splitting hairs over that. It's a four cylinder engine, okay? It's an automatic. It's a light truck. It is tired, but I was getting around 30 miles to the gallon out on the highway with it. That's excellent. When we first got together, she was getting around 19. So I done some magic on it, got it running good. Right now it's running 27 to 28 mile per gallon out on the highway. Now since then it's had a couple hundred thousand miles put on it. So do the math, that's not bad. So gas doesn't really cost us anything. We fuel up, we can go to Daytona, drive around Daytona and make it back on one tank of gas. It would be close to empty, but we can do it on a tank of gas, which is it's a what 16 gallon tank three dollars a gallon do the math you know so there now we pack things we bring our own food you guys see us eat out a lot yes we do we always go to one nice place when we go away for the weekend we'll we make sure and we save now guys remember we don't do this like on the first of the month when the bills are due we do this like we'll have everything paid so if we you know so if it is around the first everything's already paid the rooms paid all we need is money for gas and food so we bring our own food yes we go to the dollar store we go to the dollar tree we we go to walmart there's no shame in that we save money that way we buy our own snacks and stuff uh like as you've seen on christmas i made the, i made our our ham here we took it I heated it up at the motel room and made the potatoes and stuff there. We took everything ourselves. Now, we did go to a restaurant and have something to eat the day after Christmas. That was our special Christmas dinner. We ate at a roadhouse. So, we do that one time. Usually costs anywhere from 30 to 38 bucks for both of us, and that's with our drinks and everything. But like I said, that is put back ahead of time. So that's how we do these trips. We don't just spur the moment, go, let's go, because you can't do that. You know, so no, we are not made of money. We're not making, we're not rich, but we, you know, nothing's getting shut off. When she was down for her accident, yeah, it was hard for us. It was real hard, you know, because I wasn't making much money then. And as much as i am now which is still not a lot guys trust me but and it was just me paying the bills so yeah uh so that was that was hard but we got through it and now we got nothing turned off so we're good um yeah times are hard sometimes we're counting change just like you guys we don't throw our change around we've got a we've got a big big bucket or jar like a water jug thing what is it no it's a big uh thing them cheese balls come in one of the big plastic things we save our change in we have to use that sometimes for gas or whatnot there's no shame in that but we work hard and everything we've got paid for so we are making payments on nothing nothing we have is brand new <laughs> but it is paid for um so that's how we do it guys just a little explanation there on how we do um, do our our adventures and a lot of adventures like uh, you'll hear me say this is not far from the house Maybe an hour's drive so we don't have to use a lot of gas We don't have to get a room But I do like to get a room if we're going to be an hour and a half away from somewhere or away from the house because You know you're walking around you're doing stuff you're excited all day long and you know you you leave somewhere you know say we're at daytona or something you leave there at 10 o'clock at night you know it's two hours to get home so you're looking at midnight one o'clock before you get home and that, that's tiresome and especially on a weekend you got you know people that have been drinking out it's dangerous it's dangerous that time of night uh so that's why we get these cheap rooms and spend the night and whatnot now her birthday yes we spent two nights in that kind of bed and breakfast type thing um but like I said, that was uh, that was one of our expensive expensive rooms that I had rented. It was seventy nine dollars per night. 
uh, they considered it like a resort, but it was more like a bed and breakfast. You, if you've seen it, you know, you'll see it was a nice place. But it was $79 a night plus tax. Now, I had bought, I had went ahead and paid for the room. You can get them, you can get it to where you, you can pay for it at, at the hotel or pay for it right then. Now, what I like to do is pay for it right then. That way, if anything, hey, we might not get to go see an attraction, but the room's paid. All we need is gas to get there and enjoy a weekend. So that's what I did. But that was, I, I went ahead and paid for that room for like a month before her birthday. So that was hard to keep my mouth shut for that. So Disney World tickets, same way, same way. When it wasn't bill time, we had nothing coming out. We went ahead and paid for our tickets. The same way with the room. That room was booked two and a half months ahead of time. So that's how we do that, guys. Because I don't want to put on, you know, that we've got money because I'm not out to impress anyone. I am out to share our adventures with you and have fun with you guys and to try to get some entertainment, you know, for those of you that may not be able to get out and do things. So that's what that's all about. Because, you know, like I said, uh, you got people thinking, oh, they travel, they got money. No, if you if you manage your money right, you can still go out and have a great time. You don't have to stay in, you know, $200 a night motels. You don't have to do that. There's motels out there just as nice, you know, for a fraction of the price. So, anyway. All right, I'm going to end this vlog right here. Uh, monkey's on. She's at the store. She's going to be, uh, she's getting stuff I'm going to have to, I got to make meatballs. She loves meatballs for supper, so I'm going to make some homemade meatballs for her. Uh, maybe we'll do a live stream tonight. I'm not sure yet. Maybe, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, so, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for everything. Thanks for all your support. Let me know what you guys think about, about the t-shirts, you know. I mean... Just like, you know, a $20 shirt with some sayings on it and, you know, different sizes, uh, different styles, different colors, things of that nature. I think I just blocked off the mic of the camera that whole time. So I'm sorry if you did not hear it. Let me know what you think about the t-shirt sales. Uh, see if I should do something like that. Maybe some hats and, and things like that. Maybe, you know, we'll get some merch you guys can order and stuff. Um, but we'll make it reasonable. We'll make it cheap enough for other people to afford them as well. But anyway, guys, thanks again. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. And thanks for hanging out with me on a Saturday afternoon. And um, shooting the shit. All right, guys. Shea Bear, remember the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one. See ya.